everyone, Sherry Canino here from Canino's Artistic Cafe. And today I have another fun video for you of our journaling on a budget. So I've laid down a tape down a sheet of um, just regular wax paper. And now I'm putting down a few different colors of paint on top of the wax paper. And I'm gonna use just an old store card to spread the paint. Um, you can do this directly on your craft mat. I just, this way I can lift this sheet up when I'm done and still have my craft mat to work on. So that's kind of the reason for the, um, the wax paper. And I'm laying a sheet of mixed media paper over it and just grabbing the first print. And look at that texture. I just love this um, technique. Probably getting texture from the paper and probably whatever below, but um, I think it's great. And again, you can use a store card, a piece of, you know, scrap paper, whatever to spread your paint. It, it really doesn't matter, whatever works for you. Um, and I'm just continually uh, laying the paper down and just trying to pull up as much of the paint as I can and cover. Um, the background as much as they can. So I have this big bag of these like kids foam sticky hearts. They're sticky on the back and um, yeah they're glitter on the front and they probably would work better if they didn't have glitter so if you actually go out and buy some probably buy the ones that don't have glitter. And I'm taking some uh, wine corks that I have and I'm just I'm not gluing them but I'm sticking them because they're already sticky but if they weren't you could glue them onto the back um, to kind of make like a little stamp of them and I took this old this empty um, supplement bottle and I taped three of them going around the barrel of it and then I um, keep saying taped but it's because they have sticky on the back and then um, I actually uh, stuck one to the top as well. So I've put some paint down on my craft mat and um, what I want to show you here is so I started doing this and you'll see um, it's kind of like really smudging like a lot. <laughs> I was getting way too much paint on my heart but that's okay. I mean I'm playing and I've you know not really done this before so I figured ah give it a try. So here I go and I pull like a little print of the hearts and ah look at that yuck I hate it. It's, <laughs> it's really smudgy so I take a baby wipe while it's still wet and I just really wipe them off which is a great thing that you can do because um, everything doesn't always come out just right the first time. <laughs> So here I decided, okay, forget it, I'm just going to stamp directly onto this sheet and that worked much better. And now I'm rolling this little guy in the um, paint and I'm having a hard time getting enough paint on it. Um, so I pull out some white that's a little, it's, a, it's not, it's still a heavy body paint, but it's just more fluid. I, the paint I was using is getting a little bit dry, so it just wasn't working well for me. And I love how this turned out. Look at this print. Yay. <laughs> so that one really turned out great. And you could, it came out subtle because I had used the white, but I really love it. It's great for background. So now I go ahead and do a few stamps with the heart that I have in the top. And all the ones that I made, I didn't end up actually using, but I didn't know what I was going to use. And then I have them for the next time. And you can actually pull them off easy enough too. So the backs, I'm applying more paint to um, the sheet down there, the uh, wax paper. And I'm sticking the back of these, uh, these were the little stickies that were on the back of the hearts. And as you'll see, this does not get a good print at all. I waited too long, really, my paint dried, so I didn't get much of a print. So I said, eh, forget it. And I just, I picked it up and I was like, I'm all done. <laughs> 
This is a top to a candle that I got for Christmas and I noticed it the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, this would make an amazing stamp. <laughs> so I go and I try it one time and it didn't really come out so good. So I grabbed um, like a foam stamping sheet and it could just be kids foam, whatever. And I put it underneath my paper and this helped it get um, more of the impression. So it turned out a lot better. Because <clears throat> I was trying to, you know, stamp it on a hard surface and it was not getting it. It's kind of like, just like you would a stamp, but it needed something to kind of press into. So I do a few more of these and use in my brayer just because it's the easiest way to apply the paint to it. Now I've got some green paint and just a cheapy foam brush and I'm doing a few like little, um, just a little swirlies down the page. Not swirlies, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a little vine, that's what, <laughs> that's what I think of. And then I'm just adding like little leaves to it. It's really super simple, like the brush does it for you. You just have to kind of go back and forth. Foam brushes take a lot, seems like they take a lot of paint, so I have to keep like applying the paint and I go over it a couple of times to really get a good. <clears throat> this is a quick, easy way to make some um, flowers. Like if you don't have a stamp or you don't have stencils and you're like, ah, I don't know how to paint flowers, this is super easy. So I mixed a couple of colors, um, a pink, a magenta, and a really orange or a real light yellow to make like a little orange and I'm using my index finger and I'm literally just putting it in the paint and then stamping my finger onto um, the vines that I've created and that's going to be the center of my flower so um, now I'm taking my pinky in the magenta and I'm just dabbing it and then I'm dabbing like three or four little dots around the edge of the um, center of my flower to uh, make the petals. And of course you could certainly use a paintbrush if you want to, but um, you know, this is kind of really a, a fail proof way, honestly, <laughs> to make some cutesy little um, whimsical flowers. Now obviously these are not, uh, you know, a true like kind of flower is this type of thing so you know now I'm taking a regular um, pencil and it is sharpened but I've used paint on it a lot so it's really not going to pick up um, any of the lead and I'm dipping it in my or in my orange in my yellow and I'm just making little dots um, on the center of my flower all over probably like four or five in each one I guess um, just kind of turn it around. This is a great way, if you don't have a paint pen, this is an awesome way to um, apply little dots to your page. <clears throat> so now I'm taking the white and I'm trying to do even smaller dots, but I'm doing them more towards the edge. And you can, you just have to add less paint and have to keep going back and, and dotting it in the paint is all. It's a little time consuming, like if you have a paint pen or a paint marker, you know, you're like do 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 and you're done. But you know, not everybody can afford those and I get that. So this is um, a little craft hack. <laughs> so I'm wiping it off in between because it gets a little goopy. Okay, so now I'm taking it in the white and I'm literally just dragging it up the, um, my, the little leaves that I drew and just kind of giving them a little bit of dimension and you know kind of giving them the vein I got a little thick there on that one so I wiped a little bit off um, literally just take take it and just push the paint I mean that's literally all I'm doing is basically like drawing with the paint with my pencil so I show you also on a couple of these how you can take the edge of like a store card and you could do the same thing. But honestly, I feel like I have less control because it's so, um, such a tiny area. And so you're only using like a little edge of the card. 
So now I have grabbed a paintbrush and I'm just using a little bit of the white to add um, some highlights around the edges of the petals and you could use um, the pencil for this I just felt like it's a little bit time-consuming on the video so um, I grabbed my paintbrush for this <clears throat> but you could use a cheap paintbrush honestly this is not an expensive paintbrush you'll see that it falls apart on me <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm working with it um, so now I've got some uh, dark purple and I'm just using that to add um, some shadows on the inside of the petals um, kind of where the petals meet and you know just a little bit around the edges of see there's my it fell off <laughs> I leave my paintbrushes in the water too long I know this <laughs> so they do tend to fall apart Cutting that out and then I cut it into um, three separate lines and I I use my um, heavy gel matte medium to glue it down but you can use uh, any kind of glue that you would like honestly even a glue stick would work so um, I'm just using a regular pen ballpoint pen and I outline um, each quote. just outline the edges of my page just to give my page a nice edge I just want you guys to see that like you can totally use a 99 cent box of crayons on your page and they will look amazing I had to touch up the little bottom of my um, stems there because they weren't quite reaching the bottom of the page so <clears throat> didn't want them to look like they were floating <laughs> So I'm just literally taking the crayon and just coloring on the edges and already you can see it just kind of adds a little bit more to the page and I'm taking an old envelope here just a piece of trash and I want to show you why they're so acceptable to use and why they can look like a professional tool so here I have um, a watercolor crayon and I'm showing it to you again um, Here's the regular crayon, Crayola, and then the watercolor right next to it. And of course you can apply water to the Crayola crayon, but um, when they're done on a page without adding water, they look very similar and nobody would know the difference unless you told them. So now I'm using my black crayon to um, highlight around the edges and honestly the black crayon looks a lot like a charcoal pencil not smudged out and um, I take the white crayon and add a little bit as well because um, I'm also adding all the little details that I do with usually a charcoal pencil um, with the black crayon adding my lines and my dots now I've got um, basically it's a it's a big whiteout pen, and I just want you to see how awesome these um, they will look just like a paint pen. These dots are. See how amazing they look. 
look. So there's so really so many items that you can find around the house that you can utilize to um, make your art. Art isn't about the stuff, it's about um, you know creating from your heart and I just got my hand all in the paint there again. <laughs> so don't feel like just because you don't have some fancy brand name stuff that you can't make fabulous art because you can. Thank you guys so much for watching.